Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Today, we are going to be taking a look at a slime block drawbridge. This is an advanced build and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. But before we actually get into it, I do want to mention that this channel is a redstone channel. I have been doing redstone for over a year now, uploading some of the best redstone on YouTube. And I've recently recently come to 0.15.0 to bring you guys some of those amazing builds such as realistic elevators, hidden exits, as well as secret entrances. And yeah, you guys should definitely consider subscribing because this is just the beginning. We are going to be building some really crazy stuff. Alright, so that was a pretty long intro. Now let's go ahead and actually show you guys what this drawbridge is all about. So over here I have a small button and then I'm going to hit this button to activate our drawbridge. As you guys can see, using slime blocks and pistons, I can extend this drawbridge and then allow us to walk on over a lava. Then come on over to this side, hit this button, and then the drawbridge goes back into its respective areas. So that's basically what it is, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at this again. As you guys can see, when I hit that button, it activates all of the pistons, creating our drawbridge. Then I can hit it again for it to go back into the wall. And that's pretty much what we're going to be building today. Now, it does require like a lot of redstone and you have to build like two of these parts but it is definitely worth it because it makes your house and base seem so much cooler than your friends. Alright so we're only going to build one of these sides since it is identical you guys could just build one of them then come to the other side and repeat it in a mirrored image and then you could you know connect it all up together using a simple T flip flop and if you guys do watch my channel you should be familiar with what that is. Is. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to do is find ourselves a clear area, then build up two blocks like this. Grab yourselves a sticky piston, place on a sticky piston over here with two more sticky pistons on the face of that. Destroy this bottom block over there. Then build out two blocks like this. Place down a sticky piston next to this one, facing towards the direction of your bridge. Then you want to go ahead and build out one, two obsidian blocks like this, and then build one out diagonally just like that. And yeah, that's basically what we need to do. Place down one slime block over here here and then place down one, two, three, four slime blocks in that location. Now the final thing we need to do is place down one, two, three blocks right over there and it should get connected to our slime blocks. Then we want to build out a two by two or a two by one area over here and then extend it by one, two, three blocks so it's a two by four area. And then we want to extend this back by three so it's going to be a four by six or a four by five area. So let's just go ahead and do that. It's a four by four. Now now we go into a 4 by 5 Alright, so now once we have that, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some redstone dust. Place down a bit of redstone dust right over here. Place down 4 repeaters right on this side. Place down 2 repeaters over here, 2 repeaters right over there. Set this one to 4 ticks, set this one to 3 ticks, set this one to 4 ticks. Keep this on the original tick delay. Then you want to set all of these on the far left to 4 ticks. And then you want to grab yourselves some redstone dust, place down redstone dust all along these blocks. Grab yourself some more blocks of your choice, build out two blocks like this, and then build down three blocks at the bottom, and then connect this all up with redstone, and then place a bit of redstone dust on top of this sticky piston right at the back. So the next thing you want to do is grab yourselves another block of your choice, place down one at the back of that sticky piston, and place down another one right over here, place on a sticky piston facing towards the back opposite of our redstone bridge, then place down a block of redstone on the face of this block. So let's just go ahead and grab ourselves a block of redstone. There we go. Place down a dropper right over here facing towards the back. Grab yourselves a hopper. Place it on the face of that uh, dropper. Then you want to grab yourselves another block of your choice. Let's just go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz. And you want to build out one like this. Then build one down over here. One up like this. One down. Then one up like this. And then one down. And it should look something like that. Then you want to go ahead and grab yourselves a comparator from your redstone menu. And basically place your uh, comparator coming out of that hopper 
copper going into this block and then going into this redstone repeater set this to four ticks and place down another redstone repeater coming from this block going into that block set that to the original tick delay now what you need to do is basically grab yourself some more blocks of your choice place on one over here one over there one over here and then you want to place one up like that one down one up one down and one up place on a bit of redstone dust there place down two bits of redstone dust there grab yourselves a redstone repeater place it right in these locations and that should be our entire system now completed now so guys i forgot to tell you one thing and that is to put down a single item into our hopper and then it should go into our dropper now once we have that it will complete the entire system now we could go ahead and flick this lever over here it will extend our blocks about three blocks and then we flick it again and it should only go back two blocks now the reason for that is because mcpe currently has a lot of bugs and as you guys can see when this final piston pulls back our sticky piston it does not pull back the entire set of slime blocks so let's just go ahead and take a look at that again it extends all of the pistons and then it retracts all of the pistons and as you guys can see this one will grab that one but the entire thing does not move now that is one of the problems with mcpe so this is really the best we could do normally it should retract by three instead of just retracting by two but if you guys do uh, kind of you know mirror this on the other side you can make a four large bridge which is still pretty good so anyways guys that is basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial my device did die but if you enjoyed it please take one second to smack that like button i would definitely appreciate it also don't forget to leave a comment down below and tell me what redstone tutorial you would like to see next as well as if you watched all the way to the end type in hashtag team twist into the comments that way i know you guys are awesome either way i will see you guys next time Thank you.